Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and today I am super excited to continue working on my Traveler's Notebook album documenting a trip my family took last summer. So last week we did, or the last two weeks, we've worked on putting together roughly the first half of this album. So today I am going to be working on the next, I can't remember if I have four or five spreads to put together with you guys today. So we're going to be working on putting together those spreads and then next week we'll finish up with the last couple of spreads and actually getting this album stitched together. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I am going to put you guys on fast forward while I get this all assembled and then after I've completed all of the spreads for today we'll slow you guys back down to close you out. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get my desk area set up here so I can just pull over one spread at a time to work on. This first spread is all about getting Izzy a fairy makeover in a town that we went to visit. So up in the Traverse City area, there is a place called Fishtown, and it's like an old fishing town that existed like years and years and years ago so it's got these really cool old buildings and old boats and it was super super cool but they also have this really cute downtown area and their um their bookstore which had like a giant children's section had an event going that weekend where they were doing fairy makeovers so we saw that and we're like yes that is gonna happen uh, so this picture is Izzy getting her makeup all done, her face all done, and she just was like in absolute heaven, you guys. She loved this. So um, I can't remember if I already mentioned this, but I am using the Pink Paisley Horizon Collection from Paige Evans. That's what this whole album is um is based off of I guess and for this spread what I did is I'm using a paper from the 6x8 paper pad so it will be a little bit shorter and a little bit um, more narrow than the traveler's notebook paper itself so it'll just have like a white frame around it and that's kind of how I am working with the 6x8 paper pad so some papers I do have the 12 by 12 and those will be the full extent of the page but most of them are from that 6x8 pad then I also have a journaling card that is from In a Creative Bubble that I went ahead and printed off from my computer. And I went through my embellishments to try and find some that I like for this spread. So I have both the, um, like, what do I want to call it? I want to call them dies, but that's not really it. It's more like journaling spots and icons and that sort of thing. And then I also have the floral pack as well. Most of the florals I will be using most likely on some other project, maybe to make a traveler's notebook spread with, you know, some kind of floral wreath, uh, just because I didn't use a lot of them in this spread. But right here I am, and I really love how this turns out. So I just clustered four of them at the bottom, and then I have a butterfly to put um, on top of those flowers at the bottom. On the photo to the left, I have a piece of ephemera that says, uh, road to happiness. It's like a road sign with ivy growing up it and then a painterly looking heart that I put in between Izzy and her makeup artist. Now she decided to do a butterfly painting on her face which was perfect for this collection because this collection is butterflies and flowers and pink and purple and so I saved most of the butterfly ephemera pieces and stickers for the pages having to do with her makeover so it's going to be this one and I believe there are two more that have her as kind of the feature to you know to that page so that is going to do it for this one I'm going to add my adhesive to the back of my pages and stick them in my book I use a uh, double-sided tape or score tape from scrapbook.com it's my favorite when I am putting my pages into my book I typically use the 1 4 inch and uh, since I'm running low on my roller tape adhesive, I do have some coming in the mail, but it's it won't be here until after this whole album is completed. Um, so since I am running low on the roller tape adhesive, I'm only using my roller tape for the ephemera pieces that are odd shaped. And anything that is a square or a rectangle, I'm using 1 8 inch score tape. I 
it was on sale a while ago and I just bulked up a ton because I do use it all the time and I love having it as a backup for when I run out of roller tape. So I just, I have a ton of it and I don't mind that. So here is the second page uh, dealing, not dealing, but the second page talking about Izzy's fairy makeover. So there you can see her all done. So like part of this makeover, they put... Um, face paint on her face. They did her like a pink and purple butterfly on her face. And then she got a pair of pink wings that she could wear as well as a flower wreath or not wreath, a flower headband that like lights up and stuff that she could wear on her head. So it was like a full on head to toe fairy makeover. It was so cute. You guys, she just felt like an absolute princess that day. Like I don't think I've ever seen her smile so hard. It was, it was the best. I'm so, so glad we did it. So on this one, um, the picture to the right, they had like this mural that you could take a picture in front of. So I had her go and stand in front of the mural. It was pretty sunny and she's really sensitive to the sun. So her eyes are a little squinty and dark, but that's okay. I love this picture anyway. I think it's like, it's probably one of my favorite pictures of her. And then, um, on the left side, I have a, or there was a paper that was included, a pattern paper included in that six by eight paper pad that was butterflies. So that is what I used for my background paper. Then I used a card. I can't, I, I think it was another in a creative bubble card that I picked the purple off of her shirt, the color purple, and used that to color the card, to recolor it purple instead of uh, whatever it was originally. So I made that card go with this, uh, with the color scheme of this page. Then in the cardstock stickers, there was a title that said Dreamer. And that just seemed appropriate for this page as well. So that is what I put up in the title spot. Um, I have, you know, a couple other butterflies. And then there was this tiny strip of them that was from a cut apart sheet. And I decided to just fussy cut them all out and use them as ephemera pieces as well. So I did that. That seemed to work out really nicely. I like that there's like different dimension. And I like that they almost blend into that mural background. I thought that was really pretty cool. So this, um, this particular spread here is now finished as well. I'm just going to add it into the book, just like the other ones. And then we will move on to the next spread in this, um, in this book. So the next one that I'm going to bring out is, um, a little bit more labor intensive because it's going to have an additional flip put into it. So, uh, this is from, these were pictures of the docks. And so you can kind of see some of the old fishing houses, which are now um, like little market stores. So you can see some of those uh, that we're standing next to. And then there's like the the dock area where the boats would pull into to, you know, I guess dock their boats. <laughs> some of them, there were some boats docked there actually as well. Then I also saved this map piece from... Uh, a map that I picked up when we were in Fishtown. I've said it before, I always, always, always pick up as much ephemera as possible when I go on trips like this, as long as I remember to. And then I bring it back and I love to find ways to incorporate it into my album. So this was a map that we picked up there. There is an, um, an icon like right above my fingers actually, or right in between my fingers. There's like a fish icon that shows you where Fishtown is on the map. Uh, I just liked that 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 was included there and, um, you know, could help point out where exactly it is that we were. And then what I did is I kept part of the map intact so that I could flip it open. However, there, uh, the map itself is a little bit shy of the four and a quarter length. So what I did is I, I took a piece of pattern paper right here and I adhered it to the very edge of the photo. Then I am going to add my adhesive into the bottom portion there of this pamphlet. And then the photo is going to adhere onto the inside flap. So you can see it just like that. So now when it's closed, you'll see the map and then that little purple strip, just like that. See, perfect. Then what I'm gonna do is um, trim off a piece of that uh, pamphlet. You know, actually before I do that, so when I when you open up the map, the inside of the map has, you know, lots of color happening. But the paper I'm going to adhere to the inside is not quite the full height or, you know, it's not quite it's not the full height of that of that page. So what I'm going to do is add a piece of just 
copy paper on top. That way it has a white background. So when I add my paper on there later, it's going to have a white frame around it instead of like all the text and color from the map page itself. Now what I'm gonna do is trim a little piece off of that edge because when I add this into the book, I want it to close nicely. So here you're gonna see me line it up and make sure that there's still a small gap between the edge of the pamphlet where it opens and the spine of the book. That's important just for later so that I can open it easily. Um, okay, so that is that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and adhere that in to the book. So now you can see how it flips open and we'll work on this middle portion and the additional picture. So here you can see this. So this page was another um, pattern paper from the six by eight pad. So when I have it on there, you can see how the white frame is around it. So if I did not put that white paper down, it would have been like green and blue and who knows what else. Now on this, I have a journaling card from In a Creative Bubble, and that's just talking about our experience in Fishtown, what Fishtown is, that sort of thing. I went through my ephemera pack and pulled out this market, this like market market piece. It's really cute, and I knew I was gonna have a hard time using it. Like I have a hard time using buildings like that, even though I absolutely love them. Uh, but since we were in Fishtown and Fishtown is kind of like fit, they had like, you know, a market area and little boutique shops and like just super, super cute stores. It seemed appropriate to put a store or a shop front um, as an ephemera piece on this decorative you know, paper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that down. And then I found a tiny word phrase sticker from the sticker sheet. I'm going to add that to the bottom. I'm sorry. I don't, I can't see what it says. It's, it's too far away. Um, but you'll probably be able to see it in the close-ups later. So that, uh, that works for that. We'll adhere down the journaling card here. And then once this is all put together, you know, so these pieces are all adhered onto this middle piece. What I'll do is add adhesive to the back of that page and then I'll just stick it directly into the middle. Um, so then these two sections are done and all I need to do is that third section, you know, the photo of the, the four of us. So what's cool about this is I had a I was able to include a picture of Erin and the kids and I on the docks and then also a picture of my parents on the docks because you know we were on this vacation with them so that that worked out really nicely. So finally what I want to do is figure out how to embellish these pictures. I loved the way that those florals looked but I also wanted to find a way to use maybe a title on here. Um, so I found originally one that said uh, discover and then I found this other one that says explore at least I think it says explore and it's a more it's more purple um, which worked out nicely because there's a lot of purples going on in this spread you know I've got that purple on the you know little edge there and there's purple on the hat that Jonah's wearing which is actually Izzy's hat he just had it on because it was sunny and he needed some protection from the sun and then there's also purple on the pattern paper there it felt kind of weird just having the title up there in the sky all by itself so I added another heart sticker it's like a painterly blue heart and I felt like that really helped to ground the explore title sticker up there I thought about adding something to the picture of my parents I just couldn't find anything that I liked so ultimately, I just decided to leave it alone and let it be. The florals, the florals actually would have looked nice there too. I don't know. I just, I was being indecisive and decided to just move on, to let it go and move on. So we'll put that one in the middle here and then I'm just going to adhere this last, this, this not last, but this page, this one down onto the other, onto the opposite side. So one thing I will mention about putting these pages into the book like this, what I always try to do is to give myself a tiny little gap in between my photo or my paper and the spine of the book. That is going to help us later when we go to stitch this book closed. It's just going to make everything close better and then you also won't be like poking holes through photos or, or you know, the stuff that you've put on there. So when you see me cutting off like the very edge of my photos or of my paper. That's why. It's just because I just move a hair over from where it was. Okay, so let's work on this one. So this is number four for today. So here's another one where you can see like a close-up of Izzy and her outfit. 
This was taken inside of a candy store uh, in Fishtown. So it was one of those little like old Fishtown houses that they turned into a candy store, like an old fashioned candy store. It was awesome. So we all went in there and each of us picked out one or two candies that we wanted. And, um, you know, then the kids could eat their candy while we shopped in the other shops and it kept them, uh, it kept them with good behavior and it, yeah, it was fun. So she really loved it because we don't have a candy shop here in our town anymore. We used to when I was growing up, but it closed down. So it was really fun for her to go and see what an old small town candy store was like. So I am using a paper pad, not a paper pad. I'm using a paper that was a 12 by 12 paper for this one. It's that pink one that's kind of like tile. It's so pretty. I love that one. And then I've got a card from In a Creative Bubble that is my journaling card. It was a little too stark, just the white on the pink. So I went through my, my scrap papers and found this like blue floral pattern that that worked really well in between the card and the photo it just helps that card pop off the not photo helps the card pop off that paper uh, so you can really really see it so then I again was going through ephemera trying to figure out how to embellish this and I pulled out these two floral bits so there's that sticker that I've been trying to place on almost all the pages and then deciding against and then I also found this two by two square that says um, love grows wild on it and then it's got this like wildflower looking looking piece on it so what I'm going to end up doing is fussy cutting that all out so I'm just going to chop off the sentence there the love grows wild and use that like a tiny word phrase sticker then this floral bit I'm going to add to one corner of the card here and I also pulled over that last itty bitty butterfly that I fussy cut earlier then on the bottom right corner I'm going to add the sticker uh, that, that floral cluster sticker. So it's going to be, they're going to act basically like photo corners on my journaling card there. Then the Love Grows Wild, you can see I just trimmed it down. I'm going to put it on top of that pink and purple painterly heart and then use that uh, as, a, as a decorative piece over on the photo. So for this, I just uh, adhered the flowers down onto the card first, as well as that little butterfly, and then I will add my adhesive to the back of all of it. So I do bring it all the way down into the floral bits, that way it all stays together. And then I'm going to just adhere that into the middle of this pattern paper, and that side will be done. Uh, for the other side, all I'm gonna do is just use my roller adhesive to uh, adhere the phrase onto the heart and then the heart onto the photo and then and then this spread will essentially be done this one was pretty easy to put together I one of my favorite things about this collection is the colors I just love how no matter what the color is in my photo I can always find a pattern paper that goes with it Izzy is really into pink and purple, especially pink, and now she's getting into teal too, but pink is always a favorite color. So it's nice when I, I it's not, I like finding collections that have a lot of pink in them just because I know that she pretty much always is wearing pink. <laughs> so, so it will always match her, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so we're getting these adhered in. Same, same spiel as always. We're just, you know, giving a little tiny bit of space. This paper was giving me a hard time, so I just folded it backwards a little bit so I could get it flatter in order to place it without placing my photo on there crooked. And I'm going to trim off the edge. And then that one is done, and we're going to move on to the last one for today. And this is what I mean. You'll see when I pull this over. So the next spread is all about us going on a hike. So we had like trees and Aaron's wearing green, like so much green. And look at that. This collection had like a green polka dotted pattern paper that worked out really nice. Like it just is perfect. So again, I pulled another journaling card from In a Creative Bubble um, about, you know, it says something about adventure. And it has a map on it. So I wrote in there about, you know, what we were doing here in these photos. I'm going to go through my ephemera and find some, I think I just add like this blue heart right here. And then, um, 
maybe a phrase sticker or something on top of it. I can't quite remember what I do here. So these pictures were taken on a hike that we went on to an overlook. And the overlook looked out over clay cliffs or the clay cliffs, which are, um, they're like these really cool cliff formations in um, northern Michigan on Lake Michigan. So it was really fun. We didn't get like a super duper great view of them because it was really cloudy, but we definitely enjoyed the hike. Like the trail was beautiful. It was such a nice trail. And um, it was just fun to get out and do some walking with the kids as opposed to like being in the car driving from place to place. So it was nice. Oh, there we go. So I found Journey. That's what it was. It was a, a title that said Journey. It per, it was perfect. Like you couldn't, you couldn't get anything better than that. <laughs> so I stuck the Journey on top of the heart and then put the heart onto the photo. I'm going to stick the photo and the card down onto the pattern paper. And then I did get one uh, tiny phrase sticker to add under the photo of Jonah and I. It works because Izzy's shirt is pink. Like I said, she is always wearing pink. So um, it it just helped bring pink to the other side as well. And, you know, and gave a pop of color against all of the green because there's a lot of green happening on this spread. So I'll get these two pages adhered down into the book. The uh, photo there, I did trim off the edge just like most of the other ones. This one will have the white border all the way around it. And then once I get everything stuck down, then we are done with these spreads for today and we can go ahead and slow back down. All right, you guys, that finishes our spreads for today. So again, we got another five pages done. And in the books, I will flip through them. These are so cute, love them. I always like adding the extra flips in there for some different pages. And there's our last one. So, um, yeah, I, I hope that you guys got some inspiration on how to use a traditional scrapbooking kit to create a traveler's notebook album and make it all cohesive and, and all of that. This is coming together beautifully. I just love it and I love all the colors and the patterns. Next week, I will have another video next Saturday that will cover the last few pages in this book. And then we will go ahead and stitch all of it close so it will be an actual album at that point. Uh, in the meantime, I do have a couple of other videos coming your way, so make sure to keep an eye out for those as well. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see all of my future crafty videos. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.